So chapter six is on uh, an introduction to graphing. And, and I tend to do this one out of order because let's start looking at some graphs. So I'm gonna do in the, the videos here and you can do them out of order. I'm gonna do 6.2 before I do the 6.1 because I feel like it gives you context of where we're going with this stuff. And so this might be something that you've seen before. 6.2 is on the coordinate plane, on the coordinate system. It's on like graph paper, if you will. Um, oftentimes people think of it as like battleship coordinates because what we're doing is talking about locations on a graph. And so all of our graph is, graphs are going to have a horizontal number line, which is the X axis. And it's labeled with zero in the middle and one, two, three, all the way up to infinity and negative one, negative two, all the way down to negative infinity. And then it also has the vertical number line. And so we say that is the Y axis. And all of our coordinate planes, all of our graphs are always going to be set up with the X axis and the Y axis. So X axis going this way, and that's the number line and Y axis going vertically, and that's another number line. Again, you've got the positives and the negatives. The point where these two meet, so at coordinate zero, zero, if you will, that is the origin, and that's marked on our graph right here. The quadrants around the plane are numbered um, in a goofy system. So this is one, two, three, and coordinate, or sorry, quadrant four. Now, if we were to take a look at any of the ordered pairs because those are like the locations in this coordinate plane so down here graphing orders pa ordered pairs every point on the the graph or on the coordinate plane has an address it's a location and that's given by or called an ordered pair an ordered pair is always made up of the x location and then the y location and it's always in the form in brackets and the brackets don't mean anything x comma why? And so if I were to go up to my um, graph at the top and give some examples here, in, coordinate, or sorry, in quadrant one, if I had a point right here, that would be two on the x-axis and three on the y-axis. So this would be the ordered pair that gives the, the location of that dot. If I were to do another point on the graph here. I'm going to switch colors just for fun. Let's do that point right there. So giving the location of that, we always give the x axis coordinate first. So that'd be negative one and a two on the y axis. Over here, you had all positive numbers. Here, you're going to have a negative y and a positive, sorry, a negative x and a positive y. Let's do another example, another quadrant um, location for us to assess here. Let's do this one here. So that location, as an example, that would be negative 2 on the x-axis and negative 1 on the y. All of these are going to be negative um, addresses or negative coordinates. Um, in the fourth quadrant, if I did an example, and again, I'll switch colors just for fun. Um, if I had a point, say, right here, that would be 1 on the x-axis and negative 1 on the y-axis. And again, these are always listed as x and then y. So this would be a positive x. All the, all the ordered pairs in this quadrant would be a positive x and a negative y. And so we're going to practice using these um, ordered pairs. They are actually as 6.1 um, tells you, and you may be doing these in the correct order from the book, but we're going to do them this order in class. They are the solutions to a linear equation. They are locations on the map. So we're starting out with this with some context. So here we have an example for you to do. We need to know what are the coordinates of these four points, and then we want to find and label the points that are given down below. So I'll just put my answers up, and you can probably check as you go. It is a lot like playing Battleship. I think it's kind of fun, honestly. Um, so yeah, A, I'll do it without talking, and then you can think.
So those are the answers to the first part, finding the uh, addresses of those letters on my coordinate plane. And then these ones, you'll have to find a location and label them with the letters. Oops, I did J backwards. So sometimes that happens, you get your, your coordinates backwards. Let's try that as J. I would like to say I did that on purpose, but you know how it goes. All right, that looks a little better to me. All right, so one more of these in the application of this, um, a bit of a stretch, but this one says you're an AutoCAD or a CAD operator, and you've got through the corners of three of the corners of a rectangle. And so we've got these locations and pictorially, graphically, we wanna figure out the location of the fourth corner. So what we're gonna do is start by graphing these. And graphically, you can see where that last corner would be. And so my answer for this would, looking at it, look like it's there. And giving the coordinates for this, I'd have one, two, I could have labeled these ones. It would be six and negative seven, if I were to label that axis all the way down. So negative one, negative two, So that's it, that's all 6.2 is, is really just giving you the context of this coordinate plane. And we're going to be doing a lot of graphing, so this is sort of the introduction to the map that you're gonna be graphing on.